Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and today I'm going to showcase some of the new products from uh, the latest release by Simon Says Stamp. The stamp that I will be using today is called Cone Building and that's exactly what I'm going to do for my card today. I am also going to use two of the new colors from their uh, exclusive ink pad collection. I have already chosen one of those ice cream balls which I am first going to stamp on my white cardstock using a spring rain. This is the new one of the new colors from the uh, latest uh, release and uh, then I'm going to make sure that my stamp is nice and clean and I will be using the jelly bean ink pad. These are really nice, vibrant colors and I think they really match together perfectly. And uh, finally, I am going to bring uh, a Hero Art Shadow Ink. This ink is exactly the same as um, Simon Says Stamp uh, in terms of uh, quality. So I am using Bubble Gum. I think that uh, those three colors are a nice and bright combination. I am also going to stamp a Lemon Slice and for this I am using the Simon Says Stamp Lemon Chiffon. So now that I have everything uh, done, I am going to stamp the cone and for the cone I am using Vesa marking because I plan to emboss it. I am going to be using a WoW embossing powder. I believe this is the color of Earthstone um, Nutmeg. And uh, I then go ahead and uh, use my heat gun to melt it down. Now, uh, as you can find, you can find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using today, including uh, the color names and the stamps and everything, just below the video in the details area if you're watching on YouTube or on my blog. To make ice cream even uh, more interesting, I am going to use a fan medium, so I am separating the images here, and uh, I will be using glass beads. This is a, a medium by Faber-Castell, it's called glass bead uh, glitter gel, and it's actually gel that includes uh, round glass beads along with uh, glitter. Now, although you can see that it's uh, it looks white at the moment, it will dry transparent, but uh, it will leave a nice texture full of uh, glass beads and uh, glitter. I am going to apply it with my spatula and I'm applying an even uh, coat, just like uh, you do when uh, you are uh, icing your cakes. So after a thin uh, layer I am going to put them aside to dry. And now I am going to use my scissors to cut out the images. There are matching dies for uh, this stamp set but I don't have them at the moment. And that's why I'm using my scissors to cut them out. But after all they are only basic shapes so it's uh, not a problem cutting them out with scissors. And as uh, you can see I am leaving a nice white border all around. And I am doing the same thing for the lemon slice. I use my scissors to cut it out, leaving a white border. And here are my ice creams, nice and dry. I just love the texture. It's uh, awesome and uh, if you touch it, uh, the texture is uh, really, really nice. Now I am going to use my scissors again to cut out the ice cream balls. And uh, again I am going to leave a white border. Although it has texture, it uh, isn't uh, difficult to cut it out, it's very nice and soft, so I have no problems using my scissors. When you're using your scissors to cut out images, leaving a white border, then it's a great tip to move very slowly, so you make sure that uh, you leave a nice even border. I am going to do the same thing for all uh, three images and now here they are all together. The nice thing about this is that when you rub it, you, nothing goes out. And that's because uh, the glass beads as well as the glitter is nicely trapped inside that uh, dry gel. So now I am going to assemble my card base. For my card base I'm using a top folding card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and I am going to use this uh, yellow pattern paper on top so that's uh, slightly smaller than my card. Both the yellow and the white uh, panels I have cut them out using my stitched dies, my stitch rectangle dies by Simon Says Tab. And now I am uh, using my tape adhesive to assemble my ice cream. Now I am going to stick one ball over the other, and uh, between uh, the ice cream balls I am using uh, foam squares just to add a little bit of dimension.
And now that my ice cream is in its place, you can see the lovely dimension that I got. Also, I'm going to stick the slice of lemon on uh, one uh, side of the panel and I'm doing so because I feel that uh, this uh, edge of uh, the card is quite empty and I am trying to create a visual triangle between the ice cream, the lemon slice and the sentiment at the bottom. For my sentiment I have used the phrase I love summer and first I have uh, stamped it on uh, white cardstock, just scrap paper there and I am uh, trying to create the heart with the same texture as uh, the ice cream. So I'm going to cut it out now that everything is dry with my scissors, same technique like the ice creams. And uh, now that I have the heart ready, I am going to stamp with black uh, ink my sentiment. So I'm first uh, stamping the letter I, and then I am going to stamp the word uh, summer, making sure that I leave enough space in between so I can stick the heart later on. Having the heart with the same texture as the ice cream uh, balls, it really brings everything together in this card. I am going to stick this on top of my card base using a foam tape at the back. So I'm going to bring my big uh, roll of uh, foam tape there. And I'm going to stick it centered on my card base. To finish off the card I am going to use my Wink of Stella glitter pen to add just a bit of shimmer on the lemon slice. So that was the card for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired, and if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are a couple of close-up photos of uh, the card, and if you haven't uh, already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure to do so, since it's uh, your way to tell me that you love my videos and you want to see even more. Thank you all for watching!